Hi, this is Phil Hall of Mortgage News Network here at the Mortgage Bankers Association's annual convention. And to my left is Phil Huff. He's CEO of Platinum Data. Phil, thanks for being here. Got a question for you, appraisal quality. How do you know when your appraisal is having quality problems? Well, I think uh, with all the legislation and compliance issues that have come out over the last uh, uh, year and a half, I think it's really important that vendors are held accountable to their to the quality of their product. So I believe that appraisal quality is something that should be addressed by a third party uh, compliance organization. I think there's a lot of confusion in the industry about how quality really should be applied, especially with uh, with collateral valuations such as appraisals. And I think it's important that that um, uh, people employ a third party to do the quality review on their appraisals versus allowing, um, let's just say, uh, a vendor to do the uh, uh, quality assessment of their own product and uh, companies like Platinum do a great job of, of providing that independent third party objective review of an appraisal. Can you give us a, a couple of reasons on why the third party is the right way to go? Well, I think that uh, anytime you've got a, a quality control check, say a software development effort, for example, software developers should never QC their own code. I think the same thing holds true for anyone producing a product. It needs a, a fresh set of eyes to review the product, and I think uh, appraisal review is one of the key areas where, where, where that plays out better than any other scenario. I mean, um, you know, it, it's like asking an appraiser to review their own product or, or an appraisal body to review their own product. It doesn't make much sense. It's something that you become too accustomed to and it becomes a rote process. I think having a fresh set of eyes and the use of technology, let's not forget about that. I mean, there's a lot of technology and, and analytics that can be pulled in through public records and nearby listing sales that can provide a fresh review of not only from a technology perspective but also from a fresh set of eyes. So I think it's important we use, we use third-party tools to do our, our appraisal review. What do you take as the overall quality of appraisals in today's industry? Uh, appraisers had gotten a lot of uh, grief in the aftermath of uh, the 2008 uh, crash saying, oh, they weren't doing such a great job. Are today's appraisers doing a good job? You know, I, we launched a tool recently called freeappraisalreview.com and the, the uh, outpouring of, of uh, uh, the, the utilization of that platform as a whole by the appraisal community has just been overwhelming. Uh, the thousands of, of appraisals have been run through the system. Appraisers are calling in. We've been overwhelmed by the amount of support we've gotten from the appraisal community. I think appraisers are truly concerned about using data and analytics and tools that are available today to make sure they're delivering the best product they can. I mean, let's face it, we're all liable. We're all vendors of someone. We're all held accountable to some set of standards. And I think appraisers want to be proactive in the way they go about doing that. So I, I I think I, I see a, um, a, a true focus on, on doing a better job and providing better information and better analytics based on not only big data, but also on the processes that are being employed by the appraisers. Let's talk a second about freeappraisalreview.com. How does that work? So freeappraisalreview.com was developed with a subset of our RealView platform. It, it uh, provides about 1,100 business rules that review an appraisal uh, in three to five seconds on a website. So an appraiser comes to the website, uploads their appraisal. In three to five seconds, they get the results back. Uh, focuses on UAD, USPAP compliance issues, uh, Fannie Freddie guidelines, and really best practices that we've learned over the years of doing appraisal quality. So it's a tool that's available to appraisers for free today. Uh, there's a, a paid version of that that lenders and AMCs can employ where they can deploy their own technology and, and their own rule sets and scoring that we also provide in our RealView platform. But freeappraisalreview.com is just what it says, a free tool for appraisers to use to improve the quality of the appraisals that are going into the, to the uh, AMCs and the lenders. Last question I have for you, Phil. What do you see as the greatest challenges that the appraisal industry is facing come 2015? I think the biggest challenge the appraisal industry faces is the deployment of uh, tools and technology that allow for appraisals to be performed um, less so on a uh, mundane person going out and appraisal sp appraisers spending time going out and collecting information uh, and, and more so on uh, that information being collected and provided back to appraisers and providing them a, a platform where they can provide a USPAP compliant product uh, but focus on their core competency, which is using big data, using analytics to prepare a document that can be used to support the value on a collateral on, on collateral valuation. Phil Huff, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me, Phil. This is Mortgage News Network.